Mark Robert Waldman is an associate fellow at the Center for Spirituality and the Mind at the University of Pennsylvania and adjunct faculty at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. According to Time, Newsweek, and the Washington Post, Mark and Andy Newberg are the world's leading authorities on spirituality and the brain. Their research has been featured in special issues of Time, Newsweek, Oprah, and USA Today, and on National Geographic Television, CNN, 2020 News, and PBS Television. We are beginning to find out that different forms of relaxation strategies, different forms of meditations, techniques like the release technique, have some of the most profound effects on altering both the functioning and the structure of the brain. And so that's why we agreed to work with Larry and to bring out some of their expert practitioners to have them simply lie quietly in an fMRI brain scan machine, which basically sounds like you're sitting inside the engine of a jet plane, and contemplate and relax. And then to really focus on the release technique so we can see how the brain actually changes over a period of time, over half an hour to 40 minutes. But the most important thing in the release technique is that negative thoughts also do not exist in the world. I would say 99% of every negative thought you have is a total fabrication. And I'm speaking to you solely as a neuroscientist. Inside of the brain of the different types of people that we have been researching, to show you what actually happens when you focus on a positive or negative thought, or any particular goal, including the release technique. If letting go is your mantra, this is what happens in your brain. What do all of these words have in common with the release technique? In my opinion, reduce anxiety, depression, irritability, anger. And we think that this technique the release technique helps you become more focused, more motivated. That increased frontal lobe activity shuts down the emotional parts of your brain. All of these are key elements. In the simple thing of simply saying, notice a negative thought, notice a particular feeling, and let it go. And this is why I took an interest and asked Andy Newberg to do a brain scan study on this because we think some of the simplest exercises are the most powerful in the world. So the longer you do a release technique, two things happen. One is your body begins to physiologically relax and you also become more alert, more awake. And these are the physiological benefits that come from these types of things. It lowers blood pressure, heart rate, but we're mostly fascinated with how it changes the brain. We're much more concerned with how you change your thoughts from negative to positive, because all of the evidence is overwhelming at this point that negative thinking and feelings are very, very destructive to human social interaction. And the interesting thing about the release technique and these different meditation techniques is that it strengthens a key part of your brain called the anterior cingulate, which is where social awareness emerges, moral reasoning and decision-making takes place. Is where compassion grows. If you're feeling that reality with positive thoughts and affirmations, a positive self-image, you're going to feel beautiful, you're going to act beautiful, you're going to be far more successful. Now the question is, and I find it interesting when I listen to people who have taken Larry's programs, is that he brings young children in and can teach them how to do these exercises. And my fantasy and my belief and my hope and what I want to try to prove in the laboratory is that if you teach these types of techniques to young children, they will become more peaceful, more grounded, more compassionate towards others. And so I think what Larry is doing is wonderful. <laughs>